Holy smokes. Bo -bo 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 Boogie Barracuda. All righty. We got the trap set out over here. We're casting it here, see if we can't get some fishies for the tank today. At least it's not terribly cold it's just pretty cold if it was windy i think it would be terrible but thank goodness it's not windy okay sure she's nice and robust about a foot down. Make sure everybody's clean. Okay. Come down about three feet this time. Grab it. Take half. Fold it over. Grab my front shackle. And we're ready. Once you figure out how you're um, gripping it, it's really not hard to uh, throw it and stuff. Golly, this water is freezing. I checked the water temperature in the tank. And she's actually kind of um, she's kind of warm compared to the rest of everything. Did we get anybody? I think there's one little fish in here. I think we're going to try and keep a crappie is what we're after today. A nice size crappie. Bluegills we had didn't really eat. I think that's because the bait was too, um, whatever, I guess whatever I was feeding them just wasn't enough. And then the minnows I had caught, I guess, were too big because they didn't eat those. So I think they just starved that or i guess the water temperature did it eat, did it get too hot or i mean there's a way to cool it down other than some cold water but i don't know truth is a mystery because all the crawfish are still fine except for the ones that keep getting eaten by the big crawfish they're not fine at all. I won't be quiet, oh my God. How could I keep it inside? Prayer. This water is terribly cold. Like my hands are pretty fat. Shivering, dude. Golly, I keep snagging something right here at the paint. Every time I pull it in. Any fishies? Not a single one. We are um, going to try the other side real quick. See if anything's over there. If the water's just too cold. Alright, this water right here is super shallow actually. For some reason. Why is it so shallow right here? Maybe the water level's that low. Did we get what we're looking for? Did we get a crappy? Looks like we got some minnows. Some shiners. We got some shiners, boy. That one won't come out the net. There he goes. God bless him. Alright, we got three shiners, two really small bluegills. 
Oh, three small bluegills. Do we want to keep another one of these shiners? All right, I'll try it again. I'll throw it out a little deeper. Maybe closer to this tree over here. And then we might go try and throw on the dock. I didn't see anybody over there when I drove up. Feel the emptiness sand Smells fishy if that matters. That was actually perfect. Right where I actually wanted it. Guarantee you I couldn't do that twice. I wasn't in a church. Got a fish, if that matters. Holy moly. I actually got a big one. All right, we lost one. Made his way out. Kick him back. I figured there was some big ones sitting on that tree. Or at least out in front of it, anyway. Where'd the big one go? Woo. I said, oh, woo. there it is. It's actually a pretty nice size one. Get him back. And then four. We could get a crappy the size of these bluegills right here. That would be what we're looking for. All right, and last throw. We are going to try and eat this probably, I mean, just as far out as we can get it. Just because I really want to, um, I know they hide out. There's one spot they hide out in out there. If I can find it, I think I'll be, uh, a okay. So let's see if I can get it out there. She didn't circle up though. Dang it. She would kind of narrow. Let's see if anything was way out there. Don't look like it. Don't look like nothing out there. Fall again. Caught a little bit of the tree there. That might mess us up. Well, let's see. Hopefully it won't grab onto that tree. Oh, we grabbed a branch though. That ain't good. There we go. Break that branch off. And pull her in. Anybody home over there? I doubt it. Oh, we're getting stuck in that tree like that. Oh, smells good though. 
whatever type of tree that is. Smells amazing. Oh, we did get one more little fish though. All right, we're gonna go try on the, um, let's go try on the ramp. We'll um, see if we can't catch a pickerel or something. And then we'll come back and check the trap and head out. Somebody probably take my trap on going over there. <laughs> We are on the dock. Let's see if we can eat up anything here. I pride myself on amazing throws. How much grass can I catch today is the real question. That's all I caught last time I was here. Grass and that one, uh, that one fish. Will our luck be the same today? Probably. Cat nest. I'm going to cat nest today, boys. Cast nest. Oh, she's heavy. Any fish eyes? No. All right, we came back up to the ponds. Hoping they warmed up a little bit with the sun being out. Let's see if that'll change our luck. I think it might. I think it just might. I think it might, boy. And if it don't, I'll check the trap, see what's in there. Who knows? Maybe we've caught a whole boat load. Odds are we probably caught nothing, but
was a beauty. That was a beaut, Clark. It was a beaut. And we got a bluegill. We got one, boys. Not what we're after, but we got one. Nice little bead. Yeah. Maybe our luck's changing. Who knows? Tell me why. Maybe for sure it is. Was a great throw actually if I do say so myself Let's see if she has any yield not a thing right? not a bloody thing Almost messed up. Dang root tangled up last minute. For some reason. Dang thing. I caught some big fish out here last time on this spot. Not the same like this time, obviously.
that tree, bro. This could be bad. Nothing. Bloody nothing.
Holy smokes. Look at this dang fish, bro. It's just like two pounds. I knew there were some big ones in here, but dang. Nice. Holy smokes, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I was so unexcited about catching that bass a while ago. There was a lady down there fishing, and I felt bad enough throwing a cast net in the water right where she was but, so I figured I wouldn't start screaming and hollering. I should have asked her if she wanted to keep it but oh well didn't think that far in but I don't know if you saw I couldn't really didn't really say much but we also got the crappy we were after and I got two small on shiners that we're going to put in there too they're smaller than the last ones we had, so I think they'll be better. But we'll see if this crappy and make it. And um, if it does, we'll probably go out tomorrow and catch some minnows for it. Also, tomorrow, my new fishing pole from Kit. <laughs> from Chrysler is coming in. Kistler. Kistler is coming in. Jared is making me messed up on it because he asked me what it was. I forgot the name. Kistler. And it's normally on my keychain, but I ain't got those keys with me. Keep it on my church keys. Not on those. Don't have those when I go fishing. But we'll go. All right, we got them in our acclimation tank. Got the crappy. I think he's gonna look cool. And my two little tiny minnows. They're not tiny, but. And Mr. Crawfish is in there. I don't know where the tiny one is. He likes to hide in that shell over there. But we'll, we'll let these guys adjust for a few minutes and then see if they want to go in. All right, these guys are looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and try and get them acclimated. Not get them acclimated, we're gonna get them in the tank, so we're gonna do. Hopefully without stressing them out too much. Go right in there. Can I get you on one stick? Didn't get either of you. Got one of you that time. Right in you go. And last one, come here, and in you go. Look at Mr. Krabby back there, bro. That's so cool. All right, we'll check him out in a second, and we'll get this, take care of this one. All right, all the fish are in. There's both of our little dudes, and the Krabby is just chilling. So hopefully they'll like it, and we can start feeding them soon. We'll see you guys on the next video where we will be getting our new rod from Kitzler and we will uh, check it out and see how good it is. Big Barracuda. Barracuda.